What's up guys? I'm Andrew with Nautilus Spearfishing. Hope all you guys are doing really good. Today we're going to be talking about our Nautilus wetsuits. Uh, guy asked us to post it the other day and I'm surprised we haven't done it yet since we've done so many reviews on other brands. Might as well do one for one of ours. Uh, one of ours. This is our new generation wetsuits. These are the three available prints that you can get. We have our Nero, which is your traditional black ninja style suit. You have your Mantis Chrome over here, and then you got the Marana Blue over here. Okay, guys, so these are the three prints available. Unfortunately, the brown ombre has been discontinued. It's the way of the dodo. Uh, so anyway, give you guys a quick run through on our wetsuits. They've gone through about four years of, uh, of R&D and research. Uh, we, I believe, have one of the best wetsuits for the price out there on the market. Uh, we used to use Yamamoto neoprene. The newer wetsuits are actually being made with Jacko uh, neoprene, which, uh, believe it or not, is actually quite as, uh, every bit as stretchy uh, and a little easier to manufacture. Uh, so the new wetsuits are actually Jacko neoprene. Uh, very good, very good, uh, nice stretchy fabric. Not very porous, and it does, uh, does give you that nice buoyancy. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the wetsuit itself. We have here the um, the the new um, the new chest loading pad, the new elbow pad, and the new padding that we're using in our Generation Three suits. Here you can compare it with the older one. You'll notice it's this is the this is Generation Three. This is Generation Two. Uh, generation Three allows you to have a very stretchy fabric, and it's still much more robust, where these pieces don't flake off or come off like some of the older ones used to. Uh, your pad is going to be about two millimeters thicker than whatever wetsuit you're going to be wearing. Um, and that's going to help with the chest loading process. These wetsuits are all high pants and jacket tops. We also, by the way, I'm going to throw it out there, we also make women cut suits, okay? I'm going to probably post a video of that later because I just don't have time to do it all in one video. Our wetsuits also on the beaver tail have reinforcements on the beaver tail buckles. A lot of times it rips or tears on these beaver tail buckles and uh, it's not a very good and pretty sight, well, you know, needless to say. You also notice our wetsuits are a little bit more robust on the bottom. A lot of times people sitting on boats with, uh, you know, you have the um, non-skid and stuff like that and it can bust through the jersey. This jersey fabric's a little tougher than the one over here. Our new jersey fabric is actually very smooth and very stretchy. It's better than the old stuff that we used to use. So if you actually take a look here real quick, you'll notice the wetsuit actually stretches quite a bit uh, and it still has a very strong jersey fabric liners. That was a complaint that we actually had from our original first generation suits is that they weren't very stretchy. Uh, so we maintain the stretchability and the durability. Uh, all our wetsuits, like I said, come hooded as well. Uh, they are open cell or lined. We make 1.5 all the way to 7 mil to cover most temperatures around the globe. Um, the 1.5s would be great for warm Caribbean waters uh, and the thicker suits obviously for cooler waters. There is one difference between our 1.5 and all the other suits is that our 1.5s are lined. This is an uh, interior line suit. so. You have uh, a liner, neoprene, and another liner on the other side. With 1.5 millimeter suits, they're so thin that you want them to last a long time. Uh, so if, it, if a 1.5 suit is open cell, it's very easy to tear it, uh, uh, you know, mess it up and break it. So if you want a 1.5 millimeter suit to last you a long time, either take really good care of it or get a, a lined wetsuit inside and outside. We tried to make the jersey fabric really stretchy uh, and that, that helped a lot too uh, as far as from the performance standpoint. Now with the... Um, with uh, the thicker suits, you're going to notice these are open cell wetsuits. Open cells neoprene in its raw state. There is no liner over it. It's a foam. Uh, you do have to lubricate to put this suit on. Now there is advantages to lubing a wetsuit on from a performance standpoint when you're a free diver. Uh, you are moving within this wetsuit instead of having to stretch the fabric. No matter how stretchy the fabric is, you're still going to have to stretch it with your energy which means you're going to utilize more oxygen cons uh, consumption. With an open cell suit, if I were to go take a shot on a fish and point out from here to here, the suit is actually going to slide, uh, um, I'm going to slide inside of the suit, which means I'm using very little energy, if any, to, uh, to, uh, to point that gun and shoot that fish. Uh, if I were doing it with an inside line suit like the 1.5, the when I would stretch, I would actually, the fabric would actually be sticking to my hair and sticking to my skin to some point, to some degree, and I would have to stretch now the fabric. Whatever minuscule amount of oxygen that takes, it does utilize it, and if you combine it during a whole dive, it can start to add up. So if you want best performance for breath hold diving, the wetsuit should be open cell. Okay, so our five mils, seven mils, three mil wetsuits are all open cell. They form a nice seal on the wrist, nice seal on the, um, on the ankles and on, on the on the hood. Uh, if you're a weird, funky size, you're a really tall guy and you're really skinny, 
you just call uh, call me, uh, email me, and I'll try to find something that works for you. If you're a short and really stout guy, uh, we might be able to still make it work. Um, you know, they we do make them from small all the way to 4XL. Uh, we actually had a guy from University of Miami football team uh, fit into our 4XL, which I was pretty stoked about. Uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh yeah, let me just kind of throw these out here if you guys wanted to see the pants. These are our pants. Uh, you'll notice also the same, the same padding on the, uh, on the knees. This is the Mantis Chrome. And basically, I just wanted to make sure you guys could see it. it does have the padding on the elbows, the chest, and the knees. And it is, again, high pants, not Farmer John's. All right? Uh, so guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one.